Good morning, guys. This is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because my husband and I have an event that we'll be going to this morning. And so I thought I'd bring you along with me to get ready. So I'm starting with a fresh face. I've washed my face already, brushed my teeth, <laughs> um, and I've added my moisturizer. And you guys have seen me mention this moisturizer before, the Argon Oil. I've been using this for about a year now, and I still have this original container. Um, I purchased this a year ago, and I've still been using it. It's about halfway gone now. I did buy it back up um, a couple of months ago because I saw it again in Ross, and I did get this from Ross for $5.99. And so I love this, guys. I love, love, love it. So it's the Intensive Beauty Cream. I use this every single morning, and then I pair it with this Argon Oil, so this is an oil. I picked this up at Walgreens, it's by the Physician's Formula. So yeah, these are the two that I have on my face already, just my moisturizer with some oil. And I put a little bit of um, coconut oil on my lips. And so, let's get started. I'm putting on a little bit more chapstick. So I'm gonna start with this Baby Skin. Um, it's like a skin barrier. It's supposed to help um, instance. It's an instant pore eraser. I don't really have too much like pores, but I'm gonna add a little bit of it. So I just have one little dab on my fingertip there. And I'm just gonna add this throughout. And if I look up, guys, I'm looking at the mirror behind you all. <laughs> So just one little bit goes a long way, guys. Daddy said take three steps. Okay, go get your toys. I need that. That in the I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> So now I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the color, what color is this? This is Warm Honey, LA Girl Pro Concealer Warm Honey. And I'm almost out of this, so I hope I have enough here. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Just add a little bit of that here, and here and guys I did another get ready with me where I did not do all this that was my everyday look but because I'm going to an event I want to just do a little bit more so I'll just blend this in Concealer, just take it over my eyelid also and blend it up through the center. And guys, this is just what I do. You know, everyone does things differently, but this is what I do when I'm applying my makeup. Okay, so now that we have that, then I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. Um, and this is the makeup foundation for oily to combination skin. So it's number 375. So I'm using that one. And as you guys can see, I'm almost completely out, but I think we'll be fine for today. I'll have to order some more. I usually order this at walgreens.com just because sometimes they don't always have it in the store, but I can always get it online. And I should also mention I'm using these little brushes here that I picked up last year also. Um, I can't remember the name of these, but they're like a blending brush and I love them. They work perfectly for me. And with this brush, I have it in a larger size. And sometimes I use, 
I will use the large size, but I like to use this size also just because it's easier to control. So, as you can see, this is going on nicely. I'm just blending up here. And I should say, guys, I just use a little bit. As you can see here, I have the makeup on the back of my hand. I just dab my brush in it like that to get a little bit on. Should have put my hair all the way up also, but that's okay, I'm just working around it. But you do want to definitely blend your makeup in well. Okay, now that we have our concealer and our foundation on, then I will move on to the powder. Put my hair back here. There. Okay, there we go. Now we have, for the powder, I have the Revlon Color Stay. And again, I'm almost out of this one, but I have another one in my uh, makeup bag that's not near me. I have I had a little bit of excess of um, concealer, excuse me, of foundation on my brush, so I thought I'd just blend it down onto my neck. Okay, now, I'm going to use my, this is the, um, I think they're called Eco, oh here it is, Eco Tools brush. I love these brushes guys. You can pick them up at Walgreens or Walmart or whatever. And so I'm just going to use that to apply my, my um, setting powder. And I'll just brush this over my face lightly. Okay, I think I have just about enough powder on. Okay, now I will move on to my eye colors. And so I'm going to start with, let's see here, I'll be back one second. Okay, so I had to go grab my Profusion Eye Color Kit, and you guys have seen me use this before in my other Get Ready video, and so, yeah, I love this kit because it has a variety of colors, as you can see that here, um, so yeah, I just really, really love it. I've had this kit for over a year, and it's still going strong, <laughs> so now... I'm going to just choose my colors here. I'm going to be wearing like a black and cream dress. And so I'm gonna start with my base color with this cream color. I'm just gonna put this over my entire eyelid. Do 
that to the other side. And so as you can see, I'm blending it all the way up my eyelid. This is like my base color. Okay, now that I have that on, I will... Okay, baby, just a minute. Thank you. The next color I'm going to use is this color called Khaki. And if you guys can see that, it's kind of almost the color of my skin tone. So it's really a blush tone like color. So I'm going to put that in the center. Okay, now that we have that in place, um, and I, will, I should mention also guys that I tend to use the same brush when I'm applying my makeup and then I will use a different brush to kind of cut in, but basically just when I'm initially applying this, I use the same brush, um, although I have lots of other brushes here. <laughs> um, but okay, so now I'm going to go with a little bit of a darker brown color. So this color is a little bit darker than the khaki. You guys can see that. And I will show you on the palette here, but there's a mirror. But I'm sorry, that was the first color I used. This is the, that was the second color, and now I'm using this one, which is called Celebrity. And I'm going to add this closer to the crease line. Now you guys know I like a natural look. I don't like to have be overly made up, so my looks are always gonna be fairly natural looking, but it'll look like I have on makeup also. It's not overly done. Now I will say I, have, I do see some of the ladies doing their makeup and they have a full glam look, and that's beautiful for them. It's just not me, so. I have no problem with it. It's just not a look that I usually go for. Unless I'm really like in a wedding or something, then I'll go for the full glam look. But just for events, church, or however, then I usually don't go too overboard. <laughs> so I'm just still adding a little bit of the celebrity in here. Okay, now that's in place. I am going to use my thinner brush here. I'll use this one. Here we go. Here it is. I'm going to use this brush by Eco Tools. It's like a pointed angle brush. You guys can see that there. So I like to use this brush when I'm going to go in a little bit deeper. And so this color I'm using now is called Brew. And this is a really strong color, so I'm tapping off the excess. And so now I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of that in the crease of my eye. You guys can see that. And I like to start with a little and then work my way up if I need to because I don't want this to be overpowering. Okay. okay, so now I am 
look it's almost complete guys now I will add well let's see here I'm gonna take my brush and just lightly go over everything to kind of blend it in a little bit Sorry guys, I don't even know what it is because it's all rubbed off now, but it's this pretty color. Um, it's kind of a rosy, kind of like a rosy rose gold color. So I'm gonna add this to my cheeks. Origins, and the color is called Pink Your Cheeks. <laughs> Pink Your Cheeks by Origins. And so I'm going to add this color to my cheeks here. And I like to use the angle brush for this part. to my palette here and I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go to this color called Embark it's really a really dark brown color again very intense and so I'm just gonna use a little bit of time and I know a lot of the late and first I should say I'm using this really thin brush here you can see it's really thin and I'll use light feather like strokes in my eyebrows just to fill it in a bit now I will say, I was about to say, I know a lot of the ladies here on YouTube do their eyebrows first, but I personally like to do mine last. Once I have my look done, then to me this is like the finishing touch. It kind of frames your face and bring it all together. So as you can see, I just lightly added a little bit, so it's not very much darker than my natural one but there is definition there. That's what I like. I like it to look very natural still and not overly done. And as you guys saw too, I only went in with my color the one time and now I'm just blending it all through. So that color is very intense. So there's not a lot needed. It's very pigmented, I guess I should say. So now we'll do this side. And I'm just about done here. This time I didn't put as much, I'll add a tiny bit more. Okay. 
Okay, I think that will do it. So with this mascara, again, I have used it a lot, so I don't see the name of it anymore. Mm, but the color is called Black Brown. So I like this because it's not, it looks very natural. It's not super black. So it looks really natural for me. And I think the last time when I did a Get Ready With Me, I mentioned to you guys that I was not going to be doing um, falsies anymore I did do them a few times and I have to say guys they really damaged my lashes and so I thought I'm just gonna work with what God gave me <laughs> and roll with it we are almost done at the bottom. everything is looking good and now I will add my lip color you guys know I love 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 to use this this is um, color mates lipstick by the is brand is color mates and it's the color black orchid this is from the Dollar Tree again I'm embarrassed to show you guys this because I've used it so much I need to go get another one but it's my favorite color to use as a lip liner so let's see here I love this color. It's the perfect lip liner. And then for my lip color, I think I'm gonna go with this kind of pink color. It's called uh, Pink Abu. Pink Abu color. I showed you guys this lipstick. It's by the JLB Cosmetics. I showed you guys this last fall also. I'm still using it. Love it. Is it okay guys and this is my look I've added my earrings I have my dress on and so I'm just gonna take my hair down I have a scarf on here and I need to not curl my hair this is my look for today. Let's see if I have a comb here. My brush looks good. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if so be sure to give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope that you'll go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. And to all of my faithful family members, thank you guys so, so much for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate it and I'll see all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.